Security agent in unmarked cars has been following me wherever I go. They are parking at the entrance of my Nairobi residence, taking note of all my visitors, and they trail me wherever I leave the house, even all the way to my rural home, Nyeri. Part of his part of his post on X read. He further alleged that on Sunday, November 17, he noticed a saloon car parked outside his house, which, according to him, had trailed him to several locations, including the PCEA Kararapon Church, to a late lunch, then back to his house. Gashagwa decided to run the car's number plate only to find that the car was registered as a lorry, further confirming his suspicions. Of, a, of an authorized civilian. The former deputy president, who was hosted in a speedy impeachment just a month ago, went further to relate his alleged intimidation as similar to the one perpetrated during the Moyes regime. This surveillance and intimidation of Kenyans was last witnessed during the era of the, of the dreaded special branch during the 24 years of Moise misrule, he stated. In light of the ongoing abductions and extrajudicial abductions, Gashagwa opined that he saw it fit to let Kenyans, in on, to let Kenyans on his plight because of any eventuality that would lead to his demise, they would know who to blame. In this era of extrajudicial killings, forced abductions and disappearances by the state agents, I have thought it important to share this with Kenyans, the harassment and, in, in, and intimidation I am going through and inform them to hold the state responsible if I am harmed by the state, Gashagwa added. I requested the state to leave me alone. You honored me out of the office and you should allow me to enjoy my peace as a private citizen. Since his impeachment, Gashagwa has been making the remaining allegations about the government he once served in, citing his former boss in public addresses across the country. However, this is the second time he revealed details purporting his life being in danger. On October 20th, Gashagwa revealed he had been sub he had been subject to two poisoning attempts in Nyeri and Kisumu while addressing the nation after being discharged from the hospital where he had been taken ill during impeachment proceedings. He said that he felt his life was in danger, especially since his security had been at the time temporarily withdrawn. Following the allegations, the Dictatorate of uh, Criminal Investigation summoned him to record a statement during to the, due to the grave nature of his accusations to President William Ruto's administration. He, however, did not heed the summons and, att and attended a court session at Milimani Locals, Locals to dispute his impeachment instead.